Here's problem 3, 1. Vectors A and B are shown. What is the magnitude of a vector C if C is equal to A minus B? Taking a look at these magnitudes here, here's 40 and 50 for A and B respectively, and we have a 60 degree angle here. Well, uh, we'd like to uh, set this up into a coordinate system that we can use, and if I were to readjust my coordinate system like this, put x this way and y this way, then it would be easier to define my vectors. In other words, my vector b is going to be totally in the i direction as I define it, and so b is going to be equal to 50i, and then now c is, or A is going to be going up like this at a 60 degree angle and that makes A equal to 40 cosine 60 I plus 40 sine 60 J so that is equal to 20i plus 34.64j. All right, so now we have our two vectors, a and b. And if I say that c is equal to a minus b, then that is equal to uh, 20i plus 34.64j minus b, which is 50i. So this is going to be equal to a negative 30i plus 34.64j. And to look at it graphically, if we had a minus b, we would have a plus a negative b. An A plus a negative B would look like this as we're going negative B here. And so C would be this vector right here. And its X component would be a negative 30. And its Y component would be 34.64. So that would be our C. The magnitude of this vector it's going to be the square of its components, negative 30 squared plus 34.64 squared. All that square root. And that's going to be equal to 45.8. So that is the magnitude of A minus B, the vector C. 45.8